JLR investigates boots on the ground. I am in Delphi, Indiana. I am out front of the Carroll County Courthouse attending the Richard Allen murder trial. Now, I want to give you guys some information here because there's some signs here that say two-hour parking. And guess what, folks? They are seriously enforcing the parking here outside the Carroll County Courthouse. Case in point. Richard Allen's attorney, Mr. Rossi, Brad Rossi, got a ticket, folks. He got a ticket. They gave Richard Allen attorney a ticket. He parked out here and he got a ticket because he was past those two hours. Some people are getting towed. But check out Richard Allen's attorney who got a ticket. I wonder how much those tickets are. But yeah, this is very, very strange because out of, outside the courthouse, it says two hour parking. It says tow away zone, violators towed at owner's expense. And it's all around the courthouse, all around the courthouse. Matter of fact, all around downtown uh, Delphi, you'll get these signs. And the question I have folks is anyone that's attending this trial or any court hearing, how does that even work? You only can park for two hours. Do you have to keep coming out and moving your car? Because there's no other parking around here in downtown Delphi, unless you wanna park in the residential areas. You wanna park in the residential areas and walk down here, but who knows? And then I'm hearing reports that people are actually getting towed, actually getting towed. And not only that, but like uh, parking enforcers are going around chalking people's tires. They'll go around the, the people's tires and they'll mark it. They'll mark the tire and then they'll come back and they'll know if that same vehicle is there. They'll either get a ticket and or subject to towing as this is a tow away zone. But how does that make sense in front of a courthouse? What happens if people have to go to trial or have to be in a courthouse for an extended period of time? Uh, very, very strange, but I wanted to show you the process here in Delphi, Indiana. I'll be attending the trial here, uh, but I'll be outside live streaming, so I'll probably have to keep moving my car around to different locations uh, to avoid a ticket and or towed. I'll take a ticket if it's not much, but I wonder how much the ticket is, $25 or whatever, but that should be challenged, folks, because it doesn't give citizens the opportunity to park long-term. Where are the long-term parking in Delphi, Indiana, especially if you have to attend a trial. You have to go in there for business for an extended period of time that exceeds two hours. What are you gonna just do? Leave and say, I have to excuse myself. I have to move my car to another spot to avoid a ticket. Come on, make that make sense, people, because it doesn't. But also, folks, this is the, one of the biggest cases in Indiana history. It's not like people go to trial here very often. Richard Allen is. Um, so they probably haven't really dealt with anything like this. But also maybe it's a chance to thwart people from coming. Because it seems like there's a lot of secretism going on in Carroll County. Particular Judge Fran Gold, who uh, basically no video recording, limited seating, no overflow room. There's a tightened security here. There's fencing around the side of the building. But I am here attending this trial. We'll see what happens and what transpires. Uh, boots on the ground. Subscribe to the channel. Like, hit the notification button. I am here in Delphi, Indiana. We will talk soon. JLR Investigates. Stay tuned.